All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, and a sincere Shalom to all the elect out here that are doing and pushing this work in truth and in sincerity. I came across this video on the characteristics of a snake, okay? Um, and pretty much I want to equate how the snake, um, which is uh, a serpent, okay? I want to um, equate that uh, to the scriptures, okay? Um, I'm going to play some parts in the video, okay? Uh, I'm not going to play any sound because, you know, it's just pretty much music in the uh, background, okay? But I'm going to just play some parts of the video, and um, I'm going to just go with the spirit, okay? I have some scriptures lined up um, on uh, snakes, okay? Uh, in particular, the serpent, that old serpent, okay, is the scriptures uh, uh, equate, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and play the video, okay, and just check and see what uh, comes out of it, okay? Um, and I'll just go through uh, some of the videos, I mean, some of the some of it, okay? Uh, some of the video. Okay, um, in the beginning it says, has a snake slithered into your life? Okay, and we know... Uh, you know, those of us who, uh, push this work, we know who the, uh, snake is, okay, according to the scriptures, which is, uh, is Esau, okay, um, it says, a snake is a simple looking creature and yet has depth and com complexity, okay, which, uh, the scriptures, well, the Lord, um, made, made this, the, the, the so-called white man, the snake that he is today, okay, uh, people, people look at the so-called white man, you know what I'm saying, and they may look at him like, oh, oh, he's a simple, uh, person, but deep down inside, their spirit, okay, is, is a complex spirit, okay, and if you're not spiritual, then you're going to get caught up in that, okay, um, continue on, on, or say, it says, snakes can mean many different things to, uh, many different people, okay, um, then it goes into, uh, the different, uh, things from off of what snakes, uh, uh, do, okay, um, it says phil philosophical, okay, decisive, intuition, intelligence, wisdom, uh, complexity, flexible, attentive, okay, these are all the, the um, the qualities of a snake, okay, and it's also the qualities of the so-called white man, okay, um, which a lot of people may look at them as, as uh, good qualities, but then these are the the also the uh, qualities of a, of the so-called white man, okay, and the snake. It says untrustworthy, deceptive, evil, cold-blooded, okay, and you even have some some uh israelites who are uh equate equated uh onto snakes but we're talking about the old serpent okay which is the so-called white man okay and uh all of these qualities fit that so the so-called white man okay uh it says stealth uh knows when to strike okay it says hypocrite which the so-called white man is the biggest hypocrite on this planet okay it says lies Timing, precision, forked tongue, low life, okay? And they're the lowest people, man, on this planet, okay? The so-called white man. Like I said, if you're not spiritual, then you're not going to get to understand it, okay? But uh, these are all, once again, qualities of the so-called white man, okay? They, they they say one thing, okay, but, but deep down inside, they... You know, they mean something else, okay? That's that forked tongue, okay? Um, 
continuing on, you know, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to hit the, the key points in this uh, video, okay, it says it is one of the most polarizing creatures upon the earth, okay, snakes are feared by some, loved by others, okay, uh, it says, but I think we can all agree on one thing, snakes have earned our respect, even if it is out of fear, okay, um, it says, our views on snakes have been influenced by culture, religion, and personal beliefs. Okay? Um, this is why a uh, snake can be such a powerful spirit, spiritual animal. Okay? And, and yes, the, the, the so-called white man um, are uh, equated to being like snakes. Okay? According to uh, scriptures. Okay? Um, I don't want to touch that point. Okay. Um, it says snakes are sensual, uh, elegant, charming, uh, fem have feminine energy, uh, fertility. Okay. Um, continuing on, it says hypnosis, trance, astral travel, out of body experience, intuition, psychic. Okay. Um, masculine energy, phallic symbol. Protection, guardian, aggressiveness. Okay. Um, healing power. Okay, which that, you know, the medicines and stuff. It says, uh, fire medicine, uh, passion, drive, ambition, fire in the belly, zest for life, lust. Okay, which the so-called white man is filled with lust. Okay. Uh, temptation, uh, breath of fire. Okay. Um, this is a good point. Um, Ouroboros, which a lot of, um, a lot of, um, these companies have these logos, okay, like, I did a video yesterday, and, um, the, uh, company called, uh, uh, Lucent, okay, which is, uh, under, uh, Jared Kushner, uh, his, the, uh, the, uh, Salaki is escaping me. Jared Kushner is the uh, one of the CEOs of uh, a company called Lucent Technologies. Okay, and when you look at this this uh, logo, this is the Ouroboros. Okay, which is uh, simply an ancient symbol with a serpent or dragon eating its own tail. Okay, and it uh, symbolizes wholeness, unity, inf infinity. Balance the all is one eternal cycle of renewal, uh, cyclical uh, nature of the universe. Okay, um, and these are symbols that when you look at like hospitals and um, different uh, medicine, um, uh, basically, the, the, the so called white man uses these uh, symbols. Um, in this society, and you may have seen these symbols a lot, okay, or, or around, okay, which is all about, you know, they, they're into the symbolism and stuff like that too, okay, but it says these symbols, if you ever run across them, it says symbol linked to, uh, which is the rod of uh, Aslep Aslepius, if I'm saying it correctly, healing arts, medicine, renewal, life, or wholeness, okay, and then this is the uh, Cataducius, Cadadesius, it says Staff of Hermes, okay, which the symbol is linked to commerce, medical field, which you're going to always, see, like a lot of uh, ambulances have this on there, okay, travel, death, protector of merchants and thieves, okay, um, continuing on, it was a, another point in the video that I wanted to get to, okay, it says, uh, this is the duality of a snake, okay? It says creation, okay, versus destruction, which the so-called white man is all about destruction. Life versus death, which the so-called white man is all about death, okay? It says divine spiritual self versus motherly, earthly self, heaven versus hell, okay? Um, holy sacred versus wickedness, which the so-called white man is full of wickedness, okay? It says good versus evil, which the so-called white man is evil. All versus wonderment versus fear. Uh, ascension 
versus fall from grace, okay, which the so-called white man is uh, going to fall from grace, okay, when the Lord comes back and he takes this kingdom away, okay, it says pure consciousness versus ego, which the so-called white man is filled with pride, okay, it says all versus indiv individuality, wholeness versus separateness, selfless versus selfish, okay, um, it says snakes can represent the dualistic nature that can be found in humanity. Okay, and we see a lot of that in the so-called white uh, race. Okay, most importantly, snakes is the ultimate signs of transmutation. Okay, of big changes on a personal level. It's about setting the old self. I mean, the old, the old self. Okay, which can be very scary for many people, and. That's one of the reasons why when you look into the scriptures, it talks about that old serpent, okay? Because snakes said their skin, okay? And the, the snake that you see today, which is the so-called white man, okay, is the same uh, snake or serpent, I should say, that was back in the time of Adam and Eve, that was back during the time of the Roman Empire, these are the same people, okay, regenerated or reincarnated here today, okay, which it's all uh, spiritual if you go into the scriptures and you uh, you uh, link it all together. The Lord has to be dealing with you, okay. Um, Well, um, I'm going to, I'm going to just hit the scriptures, okay, um, like, like, as you see right here, you know, snakes, uh, said their skin, okay, it's still that same snake, the so-called white man, okay, but this is Revelation 20 and, uh, 1, it says, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand, okay, and he laid hold on the dragon, Okay, which a dragon is, you know, it looks like a snake. It's pretty much, you know, the same uh, type of thing as a snake. Okay, uh, it's a, basically a, a big, you know, uh, snake, you know, uh, that sometimes blows uh, fire and stuff like that. It says that old serpent, okay, um, that, that old dragon, okay. This is talking about the, the um, ancient uh, Roman uh, Empire, okay, and that old serpent, okay, this is talking about um, uh, back during the time of, uh, of Adam and Eve, okay, it says, which is, which is the devil and Satan, okay, which this is, this is, Satan and the devil are two totally different um, entities, okay, or you know, you have the spiritual demon, uh, Satan, and then you have the uh, fleshly uh, counterpart, which is the so-called white man, which there's bit, pretty much uh, Edomites are Satan here on this earth, okay? It says, and bound him a thousand years, which that was the time when they was in the, um, the Caucasus Mountains, okay? And cast him into the boundless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more okay which they they deceived the nations before okay when they was under the, the the um the greek um empire the uh the uh roman empire um during the time of uh, adam and eve once again it says till the thousand years be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed a little season okay and we're in that uh little season right now Okay, a lot of people like to, to look at the book of Revelation to think that it's a book of future prophecy. A lot of the, the, the instances that happened in the book of Revelation happened already. There are some things that didn't happen yet, okay, but this prophecy has already been fulfilled during the time that the so-called white man, which are Edomites, that old serpent, was was uh, put into captivity, okay? Um, this is Ecclesiastes uh, one and nine. The thing that has been, it is that which shall be. Okay. 
and and what what has been okay the Roman Empire, the 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 old serpent okay, it says it is that which shall be, and that and that that uh the 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 empire is here today known as uh NATO, okay, uh in the EU okay, um that old serpent okay that is uh which shall be is right now okay which is the so called white man. Okay, that was all the way from back during the time of Adam and Eve. Okay, it says, and that which is done is that which shall be done. Okay, um, and you look at a lot of stuff that that was done. Okay, the the things that uh they they did um throughout history, the so-called white man, uh, the old serpent, they deceived uh Eve in the um, garden, and when you look at uh today. The so-called white man is, has deceived our women, okay, during slavery, okay? They, they took over the world, you know, or parts of the world during the, during the Roman Empire, and they pretty much um, took over a whole lot of the world in this society or in this world today, you know, as we know it. It says, and there is no new thing under the sun, okay? So everything that the so-called white man did back in the past, they're doing it exactly on to this day. Okay, it says, is there anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new? It has already been, I mean, it has been already of old time, which was before us. Okay, so are you able to look at these so-called white man? Okay, and you, you know that they're snakes or whatever. They have all the, quali equi um, the qualities of a snake. Okay, um, and... and and are you able to, to look at them and say that they're new? No, they're the same people that was doing the wicked stuff back then. Okay? Um, now, going into the old serpent, um, this is Genesis 3 and 1. Now, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Okay? Which this is, this, this is talking about people here. Okay? This is not talking about um, animals. Okay? Because, once again... The, we call people snakes all the time, okay? The so-called white man is is the is spiritually um, called serpents according to the scriptures, okay? Um, more subtle than any beast, okay? And when you look at when you look at uh, subtle, okay, it says uh, subtle, uh, shrewd, crafty, sly, sensible, crafty, shrewd, sensible, prudent. Okay, and we just went through all of the the uh, the qualities. Okay, of, of what the so-called white man uh, does. Okay, uh, throughout life. Okay, which you know they're all about precision. They're all about timing. Okay, they're low lives. They lie. Okay, and 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 how did they uh, get this uh, this land that they they call America today? Okay. They deceived the so-called Native American Indians, and they uh they stole this land. Okay, it says which the Lord God had made, and He said unto the woman, Yeah, have God said you shall not eat of every tree of the, the garden, which this is the so-called white man talking to the so-called uh black woman today. Okay, which are the Israelite women of today, and they lied to them. Okay, and it says uh. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruits of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, which this is talking about a person, okay? That tree is talking about a person, okay? It says, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die, okay? Which is, the this is talking about the philosophies, okay, that the so-called white man does, all the lies and stuff like that, okay? Um, which this goes over a lot of people's heads, man. Okay. It says, uh, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. And the serpent said unto the woman, you shall, you shall not surely, you shall not surely die. Okay. Which this is a lie. Okay. That the so-called white man does. Okay. And, and when you look at the, 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 the lies that they're telling our women today, okay, the, the, uh, it's the same thing. Um, you have, uh, uh, the feminist movement, okay, uh, 
put put your uh, man out the house and stuff like that. Okay, you don't need a man and stuff. Okay, these are these are the the philosophies that the so-called white man was telling our women back then, and they're still telling them today. And our women are basically taking that fruit. Okay, and they're listening. Okay, that with that philosophy. Okay, um, it says for God does know that in that day you eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and you shall be as gods. Knowing good and evil, okay, and, and they, they're lying and telling our women that they are gods, okay? The black woman is not a uh, god, okay? Um, It says, and when the women saw that the tree was good for food, okay, which the so-called white man, the, the philosophies and stuff that he was saying, and that it was, it was pleasant to the eyes, okay, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband and he did eat okay listening to the uh philosophies okay now going on uh psalm 58 and 3 okay it says the wicked are estranged from the womb which is talking about the so-called white man they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies their poison their philosophy okay their the poison is their philosophy it's like the poison of a serpent. They are like the death, death adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of, of charmers, charming never so wisely. Okay? So the so-called white man has, you know, that the poison that they, they spew out their mouth, okay? You know, the lies, the, the hypocrisy, okay? It's, it's all equivalent to, to to being a snake okay being low lives okay and our people are listening to this this snake okay um now going on because this this uh the the serpent okay came through the uh the lineage of uh of Cain okay um which the, the the scripture said uh you know all thing that the thing that has been is that which shall be okay uh Cain okay uh slew Abel okay uh is the scripture uh Genesis, Genesis four and eight uh uh Cain slew Abel okay and uh when when Cain uh slew Abel okay um. The Lord basically put a curse on um, on Cain, okay? And um, this is Genesis 4 and 13. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than, than I can bear. Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto him, Therefore, whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any find him to kill him. And that mark that the Lord put on him was the, you know, pretty much the 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 same mark that the so-called white man has. Okay, the the lack of pigmentation because Cain was a so-called black man back in the back uh, during the time of uh, Adam and Eve. Okay. And the Lord basically put that curse on the so-called white man, okay, to to or Cain, okay, and and what happened after after that, okay? You had the lineage, uh, fast forward it uh, to a little bit, okay. You had uh, the the time of Noah and the flood, okay. All the people that was back then during the time of Noah was killed except for eight people, okay. And then Noah had his sons Ham, Sim, and Japheth, okay, and those are uh, pretty much the, the progenitors of pretty much every race out here okay but the lord split up the families okay and when you go down into the lineage um you had uh abraham isaac and jacob okay and this is all in the, uh the story of genesis i'm just run, giving a quick uh run through okay abraham isaac abraham had isaac and then isaac had uh Jacob and Esau, okay, and when he had Jacob and Esau, this is the uh, this is the the story of Jacob and Esau. It says in I, Genesis twenty five and twenty one, 
And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if, if it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in your womb, okay? Which one, the one nation, okay, is the so-called white man, and the other nation, is, or the, the so, one nation is the Edomites, and the other nation is the so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Native Americans today, okay? It says, uh, which, are, which are Israelites, by the way. It says, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, okay? And one of the manner of people... Uh, that was separated from our bowels was the, the, the dragon, the old serpent, the devil, and Satan. Okay? It says, uh, I shall lock you. Close them out. Uh, it says, and the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall be, shall serve the younger. Okay? It says, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out all red, I mean red, all over like an hairy garment. And they called his name Esau, okay? And that's just that, that mark, okay, that that was put on Cain, okay? And Esau is Isaswa, okay, which uh, I believe is uh, wasted away, is he, okay? Um, which means that he didn't have uh, pigmentation. Okay, so this is that same serpent that's that's coming back through the spirit uh, or, or bloodline of Esau. Okay, through this lineage. Okay, the, this is one of them nations. Okay, um, that that was being separated uh, through uh, through uh, uh, Rebecca. Okay, um, and then uh, notice it says that one. The one person shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall, shall serve the younger. Okay? Now, uh, going deeper into the story of Esau and Jacob, okay, uh, Jacob uh, told his uh, his sons to, um, I mean, Isaac told his sons, uh, Esau and Jacob, to uh, pretty much go and... Uh, well, he told his, he told Esau to go get um, some food for him, okay, and Jacob uh, supplanted him, okay, and basically Isaac had um, had blessed um, uh, Jacob, and um, Esau was mad, okay, uh, and the blessing that Isaac gave to Esau is um, is this, okay. Um, Genesis 27, and, uh, I'm going to start at, uh, 28. Therefore, God give you of the dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of, uh, corn and wine, which this is talking about, you know, the, the, the so-called white supremacy, man. Okay. They got, they got the good places and everything. It says, let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to you. Curse be everyone that curses you, and blessed be he that blesses you. Okay. And um. Oh, so like that was that was um that was that was talking about um, um Jacob. Okay, I wanted I wanted to get into uh Isaac, which is twenty thirty nine. Okay, um I was reading twenty nine. Okay, uh. I wanted to get in 39, okay, um, uh, Genesis 27 and 39, and Isaac, his father answered and said unto him, behold, your dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from above, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke off thy neck. Okay, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of, of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. Okay, this is this all goes back to um, that racism. 
okay, that, that you see today, okay, the things that have been is that which shall be, okay, this is all uh, spiritual, this is a spiritual warfare, okay, now, as we, and it, the Lord must have wanted me to bring out the, the, the blessing that Isaac gave to Jacob, okay, because the Lord, when the Lord told Jacob, okay, uh, let people serve you, and nations bow down to you, and be Lord over thy brethren, okay, th that's what's going to happen when the Lord comes back, okay, and I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to end this, uh, lesson on this, uh, scripture, okay, uh, Revelation 12 and 7, and there was a war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, okay, which the dragon is that, that, the, uh, NATO and the EU, okay, um, and the dragon fought and his angels, which that dragon is is Esau the Edomites okay and and their uh planes and all the stuff that they have okay and they're going to try to fight the Lord when he comes back okay it says and prevailed not neither was their place found any more in heaven okay which this is you know that that uh white supremacy and the dra great dragon was cast out that old serpent okay that old serpent okay from from Genesis uh three okay that the lord created okay that has all the spiritual uh aspects of a snake okay it says that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceiveth the whole world okay which that goes into um uh the blessing okay that the lord gave to um well that isaac which isaac is you know uh, Yahweh Shad, the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus, the blessing that, that Isaac gave to uh, Esau, okay, they deceived the world, okay, he will cast out, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him, okay, and and I believe it's, it, no, it doesn't say it, um, basically, you know, the lies and stuff like that, that the so-called white man put out there that, you know, they are, uh, that Jesus was a so-called white man, and um, they're, they're the, the, child, the Bible was written by them, and all that stuff, you know, the Bible ain't real, or whatever philosophy they, that is out here, you gotta go to college, you gotta go to school, okay, one way or another, the so-called white man that deceived the whole entire world, okay, especially with the money, okay, that's a whole total different thing, okay, Thinking that you're supposed to be paying for for, for water and, and and all the natural products and stuff like that, okay? This is ways of how the so-called white man deceived the the world, okay? So when when the Lord comes back, okay, that old serpent was just set it his skin, okay? That that always set his skin, you know, which the the setting of the skins is you know the death of these societies or the death of uh, the people, okay, and they coming back in a new body, okay, the same way how a, a snake does, that's the same way of how the so-called white man is today, okay, and when the Lord comes back, the Lord is going to destroy the so-called white man, okay, and, and they're going to go into slavery, okay, and, and they won't be able to, to deceive the world anymore, okay, so with that, man, um, hopefully this lesson was edifying, um, I want to say shalom till next time.